10k, six miles on the track, slow. I think it's just a recovery run. He ran 30 on Sunday, I had a day off. Legs are feeling pretty sore, so I think it's just gonna be six miles, chat, conversation. It's like 6.20 in the morning, so. Beautiful way to start the day, slow run, shake it out, and then I'll train later on. Some weights, slower body, I think. Um, but yeah, it's nice to be back at UCLA. We were here like, Five, five, six months ago, not even just slamming 800s, 400s. Not done a speed workout in a while, but George just chirped up about trying to hit a 5k for time. I'm trying to talk him out of it, but let's see. I always want to run. Yeah. Because if I go to a new city, sometimes just bringing your trainer. It's a great way to just take yeah. a quick, like, six miles. And, like, in the morning, it's a lot of gyms aren't open in four or five miles. Crazy guys who run like 12, 13k, but the Kante is yeah, 52 your minutes. What's your favorite running shoe? Have you been, you been liking those? 11k, yeah. just under five minutes. K felt really good. Had that day off on Sunday, so I think it benefited me, honestly. George feels a bit said he felt a bit tired and yeah, soon passed him, honestly. Like but it's good. Had a little fucking yeah. can of the good stuff before, got one for after. Super yeah. excited for this to come out. Not long, 30, 40 days, depending when this goes live. We might even be launched, but. I don't run, so like, I don't really yeah. know like what is good and what's not. So I mean, it would be that good stuff, you know. Like a shoe like that. So how did you guys all connect? We actually worked together. Yeah, I worked with him before. Shot a campaign at Walmart in like 2021 when Daring launched there, and did a crazy video. I think sales just went like this, and then through training and you guys met each other. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We sent him some clothes because I thought he looked sick. And then yeah, now we're friends. Now we're friends. Here we are. But uh. Yeah, it's it's inspiring stuff. Like I, I like to just come out here and like finding people with like like minds and just want to get after it. It's cool. Def definitely. How is like fitness and incorporating running like has that something you've been incorporating recently? Or? I mean, growing up playing footy, I ran with the ball all the time, and so when I stopped playing footy, I kind of just got strictly into like weightlifting and trying to like that gets boring after some time. I can't lie, so I try to mix it up. But I'm trying to get more into running now. I'm trying to find this like runner's high that people talk about. I haven't really found it yet. <laughs> you didn't find it there? You gotta go slow. I mean, it's cool. It's, it's, it's so much easier with friends. For an hour. Yeah. That's true. That's longer than I'd ever run on my own. Yeah. So it's like the power of having people to run with is huge. And we got legs at 3.30. Oh, two out of two with the boys. Just find the high, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're going to stop by the workout later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll hit the workout. That's more... It's a little bit more my speed right now. It's more like what I'm used to. Like I kind of like incorporating like hit workouts, yeah. but the running is stuff that I got to catch up on. Definitely managing yeah. brand and all this. How do you like make time for fitness, bro? I mean, early mornings. Yeah. I think uh, getting after early, getting the day started like that is is huge. It's key. And I think um, you just feel good after. Like I don't even know what time it is right now. Let's see. It is 7:30, and we got the whole day ahead of us. Just banged out like a thousand calories and like. Yeah, it's a good way to start it. And I mean, prioritizing certain things like the time, the travel, it's, it's a lot at times, but I mean, ultimately you make time. Like if, you, if you're like passionate about something, you'll, you'll figure it out. You know what, when you fucking train, you guys are on the runner, I'm on the bike. You have to wear a cool
run down with the boys, breakfast on the go. I'm actually cooking my wife breakfast right now. Eggs and bacon, baby. Eggs, bacon, the secret sauce, caviar. Super random, but like egg, fried egg, caviar on top. Oh shit, I was gonna make her fried eggs. Scramble will do. But a um, bit of caviar on top, toast. Oh, anyway, run down, training again later. So I'll cook something for myself, probably something similar. Um, but obviously she's pregnant a couple weeks that we have a baby girl. So I'm just like fully in control of what she eats pretty much all the time, but especially right now. So I think like Patty had said, lots of fat, lots of animal protein, uh, butter, ghee. So we got butter in the pan. We got the eggs here, we got bacon. A lot of people have been asking more about what I eat. I'm gonna definitely get into that at some point. Um, but yeah, normally kick my wife. Sorry, I gotta take this call, but normally get my wife every day, get this kind of for her. So, two seconds. But I have, this is my first time I've had baby. No, no, you brought baby before. I just oh. kind of like the, it's, um, it's, Yeah, it's kind of like a little bit of like- it's A little bit mixed. A little bit of both. <laughs> then you went to this, which is two months. Then you went. And, but taking that place is scary. And you're like, every The work that I do and I'm doing with Ross and Anna is to help them prepare for their birth of their first baby, to help them um, be equipped with education and information so that they can advocate for themselves and for their daughter. And so that they don't step into this really fantastic experience with fear because when you begin to awaken knowledge, you eliminate fear. And that's what I love to help people do. Oh, oh babe. <laughs> I know. And we'll talk change, about change that. Change the plan. No, we'll talk about that. <laughs> it's all about learning. I know. So we're on the way to Dave Perry's. I'll talk about runners. He's a runner, honestly. He's like, literally, I think he's a professional runner. And he has an amazing jewelry brand, um, David Perry jewelry make some really cool pieces i have a couple bracelets from him um i'm not a big jewelry guy other than my wedding ring and occasionally a watch um but i wanted to try and get him to make a couple things um you know which which we're gonna go and check out now so we're gonna have a meeting check out his showroom and hopefully um uh, you know design a couple of cool pieces so yeah excited then you know then we're training again gotta eat at some point and uh yeah like i said pink's coming in soon gonna call him shortly and see if he's ready for a session with silly i think everyone's gonna head out i think george is coming i think noah's coming so it's turned into a bit of a session so that's it all while trying to slay some cans at the same time So, How you been, man? Congrats. Oh, thank you. Like, yeah. Lots been good, yeah. Um, traveling, work. Traveling, work. Soon to be wife. Yeah, yeah, soon to be wife, exactly. Now I'm feeling. Um, yeah, yeah, you know the feeling. So it's uh, it's good, brands growing, good things happening here. Um, yeah, I mean, similar with you, like I'm really leaning this brand into like heavy into sport. So it's gonna get a nice, not like a facelift, but it's gonna be, the imagery, the storytelling, mm, it's going to be that. really sport driven because like that's why I started it. Like I have a fashion background and people are always asking me about why I started the brand. But the truth is like I started this because like I got back from marathons. I wanted to wear a chain. Yeah, I, I want it like I don't wear the metal the day after. The, I don't do that. I would just buy jewelry. You buy yourself one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then people assumed I made it. So they're like, oh, can I get one after like I finished Berlin? And I'm like, Sure. So, you know, in the jewelry district, going, making things, and that's how this all started. Yeah. Just making it for professional runners, you know, novice runners, people that just like, yeah, want to celebrate. So, so it's like a present to yourself. After exactly. Your sure. Exactly. Like, the, yeah, the, the trademark is you are yours or you are your greatest gift. Like, you're your investment. You know, you know that life. Oh, really? So, which yeah. leads kind of into like, I guess, so here for two different things. Yes. Tell me. First and foremost, most important is like having a daughter. So yeah. I wanted to get a piece made for Dope. Anna and myself. No. Bracelet, necklace, don't know. Probably bracelet. Yeah. 
Let me show you a piece I just finished. Just so I just, I just, did, I just did this with my, um, with a very good friend. This is his daughter's name. Leonessa and Childhood Blocks. We did these other beads. Done. Yeah. Give me something like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then it's like this crazy locking clasp. So it's yeah. like super secure, really beautiful, really personal. Two important moments in my life, so. Yeah, yeah, no. so it's about doing it right, bro. Yeah, dude, yeah. I don't do things hot. Yeah. Okay, All right, man. Appreciate Great to see you, bro. Thanks, thanks for coming man. through, man. Of course, thanks for having me. Yeah. Excited to work together. Yeah, me too, man. Uh, yo, bro. My brother, what's up, man? You okay? Yeah, good. You in LA? Yup. Let's go. I'm excited to see you. I'm excited for tonight. No, I'm so excited, bro. How you feeling? How's the tour been? Tiring as fuck, man. We've been, we've been driving all night. <laughs> we've been driving all night. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm amped up. I'm living on a dream right now. Right? <laughs> Momentum. <laughs> You know? Yeah, it's fun, bro. You are you you still you still good to move your body a little bit? Get ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll send you the address and then I'll 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 uh, I'll see you there. Okay, thank you, bro. I'll see you at two thirty. All right, bro. I'm excited. See you later. All right, bro. All right, gonna get him to. He's on a health journey right now. I'm excited, like for him moving his body, eating right everything the way it impacts just like his life mental everything so excited for you to meet him obviously crazy story we'll tell it a little bit later but he sang at my wedding in spain two years ago hit him up we connected through a mutual friend and uh he blessed us me and anna and came and sang like a bunch of songs at, his, at our wedding which are the songs that me and anna like fell in love over um used to play them in our studio apartment in new york just like on repeat and then fast forward a year and a bit later he came sang our wedding song which is uh honestly just like one of the best songs ever so if you don't know him check him out pink sweats and we're gonna get a session later uh jlt with salute lightweight oh yeah yeah single leg so but my friend why you look like that why you look like you uh, so tell me about yourself, man. Tell me what's going on. Like, I'm all right, to first, look like this. first of all, I'm not too big because I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Like I'm, I'm trying to sound like this. <laughs> oh, I know. Like, I'm trying to sound like this. Okay, come on, man. I don't know which one. So talk to me. I mean, Ross gave me the he gave me the breakdown. Also, hey, I'm proud of you. Good shit. Over forty. Yeah, we talking that talk right now. Good for you, man. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on elliptical bikes. Ross, I'm gonna let y'all start up. I don't want you to start him up. Okay. All right, just stretch it out. Leg extensions and shit. Ten by jump the ten by ten. Bro, any crews? Going up five kg every week. That was great. He's with me a lot. Like we have 15, 16 calls, boom, boom, yeah. boom, moving. George and me launching a brand, but then we can still come in here, take care of this, take care of this. Yeah. Because there's a lot of guys pushing out like fitness stuff, but like, what it like? Guys want to be two things. They want to be fit. Want to be rich. And they want to be rich. <laughs> and hopefully, they want to have love and family and stuff. So I'm trying yeah. to hit those three pillars. Yeah. That's for amazing. too long, like that entrepreneur was like this fat, lazy guy who like <laughs> overworked, ordered, ever eats, and like stressed out, didn't take care, didn't sleep. Like that's glorified. 
Yeah. You know, no like, headline. That's glorified. No hairline. <laughs> no hairline. So we're trying you got to change your it hairline, off. baby. Over oh, then, that's where you at? Um, nah, I'm good. Eat just, some this food. This is a reboot. Nice to meet you. Where do I know you from? You're actually from. Big Bear. We left LA, we left the comfort of the hills and we're here skiing, snowboarding. A little day trip. Get out of the gym for a minute. Yeah. Mix it up. Sun shining, it's been snowing. It's a beautiful Looking good. Friday. Not skied, uh, George not skied in a while. Full blue skies. I've not been since I was about 13. But, you know, once you fucking learn something, you never lose it, right? That's it. I skied last, last year. And uh, two hours from LA, two hours from the beach, we've got this mountains, snowboarding, skiing. Yeah, just mixing it up. Obviously, training's pretty intense right now, so it's good to take a day off to some extent. Come out here, enjoy it, see different parts of LA, California. Even. Active recovery. That's it. And loads of salt. We've got the samples here. A couple weeks away from launch. John brought over a box of samples. Honestly, tasting amazing. 500 milligrams of sodium. Great electrolyte profile, no sugar. Best drink launching in like 30 days. I don't know when this is going live, but it might, even be, might even be live right now. It might have sold out already. Yeah. Might have sold out. <laughs> Only a million cans to sell on day one. To two, two runs. Yeah, three hours done, bro. Three hours, the whole thing is over. We got so a lot sick. of runs. We were first up the mountain. Yeah. We actually got in the first lift and the first down in the first uh, ride. It's funny though because the boys were complaining they hadn't done it in ages and then after like 30 seconds they were just ripping it, so it was good fun. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Watched a lot of people fall. Alex did a backflip. Alex ran down the hill with no snowboard at one point. <laughs> so good. It was good though. What's next? What do you got going on? Cover after you're driving on the way home, honestly. Yeah. Take a little nap. Take a nap, run on 10k tonight. And then back to the bodybuilding tomorrow. That's it. And we got John back. <laughs> The Air One King, it's this. All right, we just wrapped up a great day skiing. A few couple days, obviously got the run in with the boys. Yesterday, Noah joined me and George for a sexy pace 10K. Um, and then, you know, my doula came around to the house, getting home ready for birth. And we got out of the office, left the laptop, left the gym, left Equinox, and had a good day skiing with the boys. So. Yeah, super excited. Um, today, tried again, a couple more samples that came in. So a month away from dropping the new brand, which is obviously super exciting, working on that really hard next week. I think we're shooting some shots, some PR shots. 
and he's hate to bring it to you all. So yeah, that's it. Last lads trip, done. And we're out. Wow, that was like a movie.